Hi, and welcome back to uh, the new improved hashtag GUI by uh, Blandy UK. And you can find us at md5decryptor.co.uk. And what I have here is the new GUI running the new version 1 of Hashcat, which combines Hashcat Lite and Hashcat for improved speed. Now, what's new about this uh, new GUI is what I had asked Blandy to put into place, which was a batch job. This is something I really, really wanted because I like to set up my jobs and walk away from the computer so that I don't have to constantly come back with new rules. Also, we'll be going over the word list, how to manage them, and also outputting commands so you can actually get used to seeing what the commands look like, which you also see in batch job, and I'll show you here in a bit. So what I've got to do here is I've got a little list I get from hashes.org. I do a lot of... Uh, work there. I think I'm number eight right now. And I'll be working with SHA-1 or SHA-1 or however you say it. And I got my rules here, my output file name, and which binary I'm using actually. So let's go ahead and get started here. So let's just do some easy rules so we can see how quickly this goes. I have a best 64 rule. I have it running on my uh, Radeon 5800. So got it all added. It looks all pretty set up. I got it set up for output as plain files. Uh, ignore warning, I've got temperature off. And what we do here is we go over to batch job and we say add from also hashcat and we see the command go ahead and put it in there. And you can also see the similar from if you go over here to the command section, you'll actually see that command right now, which is really nice because I'm learning, still learning the commands. And so seeing the command actually output it is really nice. And so we can go back here, let's add another uh, another rule, just add some simple rules here, add the OS Commerce rule, go back to batch shop, add it there. And you can see that it's actually uh, adding the list there. So we'll go ahead and uh, go back to batch shop, we'll hit run. And as you can see here, it actually started. Put in the entire command, it's starting. And it's got to build the kernel, sorry I didn't run uh, SHA-1 here beforehand. I can see there it goes, but in the kernel for my other video card. I apologize about the delay here. I should have had that prepared actually. But it's good for people actually to see that it sometimes it's got to build the kernels beforehand. And there it goes. And it's as you can see, it already finished the first one and started right into the second dictionary. And it didn't find any results. But as you can see, as soon as it finished that first command, immediately started the next one and that's a huge time saver for me especially like I said because I like to walk away <coughs> apologize about the cough I've been getting over getting sick as you can see it started running the second one and it finished and you just press NQ to continue and it's done and that's a great way to uh, set up a bunch of commands to run and when you're done you can just wipe it out so that you can have new commands now we have word list management here you can you know add your word lists which you know, I have mine in my dictionary folder. I have a bunch of dictionaries. You add, you can control highlight them and stuff like that. If you add them here, you can uh, rearrange the order. And this is the order it starts doing, attempting the searches for. And I usually like to do it by size. I like my fastest dictionaries to go first. That way you can uh, get those done. You can select a bunch of them. Those are the ones that we'll use. You can move them up and down. That's just the order of which it's going to do stuff. I know there's Markov. I'm not really familiar with Markov, so I'm not going to talk about stuff that I do not know about. But you can also, you know, remove ones, add them. <coughs> Sorry about that. And that's just a basic rundown on it. You have a bunch of options here. You can uh, select how it outputs out. Hash, salt, plane, hex plane. I just typically use plain because that's what hashes.org uses. And again, you can see the command right there. Hash got CPU. We, nobody uses CPU unless you have to, so I usually ignore that option. But you have all the different types of hash types to use. MD5, double, half, all the different SHA ones, Joomla forums, the Bolton forums, SQL, all the different windows, cache credentials, SHA-256, SHA-512, 
there's a huge list of options that uh, Hashcat, you know, Adam actually uh, developed and all these put it in with his team of uh, fellow programmers. And we thank them so much for making this so easy and thank you for Blandy UK for making this GUI so that morons like me will know how, exactly how to do the commands and actually see them rather than have to sit there and memorize a thousand different things. And some people say, you know, oh, that makes us a bunch of script kiddies, but I'm okay with that. I'm about trying to get the job done and GUIs really, really help. And I just want to thank you so much for taking a look at this very quick tutorial just with the new features of the batch job and cleaning up any bugs. We thank Blandon UK for his work on the GUI and Adam and his team for all the work they do on actually Hashcat, which is a very valuable tool. Thank you so much.